Hey guys, welcome back to another edition of Teardrop RV Travels. Today I have a long list of things that I would like to get done, but let's be honest, this is me, so they probably all won't get done today. It is what it is, no big deal. But let's get started. Last episode was kind of a letdown. I didn't feel good. Things weren't working out. Nothing was working the way I wanted it to work. But today is going to be better. My sinuses are still acting wonky, but I did what any grown man would do. I said, Mommy, help me out. Mom gave me the right kind of thing to make my nose and my sinuses better. So now, instead of my head pounding and hurting, my nose is just running. So that's an improvement. What I'm going to do today is clean up some wiring. I'm going to refit the countertop, hopefully get the countertop mounted, and maybe if I'm lucky, I'll get the countertop painted today. We'll see. I don't know. What I'm going to do is set up a time lapse, and so get all the other stuff out of the way when I get ready to redo the countertop, then we'll jump back in. So I'm going to get to work. You guys enjoy the time lapse and the music. All right, so quick break. Um, it is just as hot today, but it's not quite as humid, but I'm still just dripping in sweat, but it's not quite as bad as it was when I was out here in the last episode. So I got my wiring where I want it to be, um, so everything's out of the way. Uh, the way I've decided to get my countertop into the camper is I'm going to trim about a quarter inch off of the end of it um, and that should make up on either side that'll give me some wiggle room I'm going to be installing it with brackets anyway and then I'll be putting a edge of caulk around um, the edge an edge of caulk around the edge and uh, so so if I have a little bit of gap it's not going to make a difference anyway so I'm going to bust out the saw clamp down the countertop, um, I'm pointing at my works Pegasus table, which is what the camera's sitting on right now. So uh, I'm going to clamp it down, trim off that edge, and then see if I can get this thing installed. You ever have one of those moments when you're filming an episode for your channel and you just say, you know what, I, I need to stop here and, and leave it on a win? Of course, you, 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 everybody knows what that feels like. But that's how I feel right now. Um, this went in, went in with minimal problems. And it's only sitting on a couple of brackets right now. But uh, overall... Uh, I'm I'm pleased I am I'm super pleased if I may say um, with how well this went in and uh, and what it's gonna look like so uh, anyway the countertops in I still have a lot to do before I can get to painting it um, but I tell you what I am going to do and I think yeah the camera can see it <clears throat> this is my edge of the uh, of the camper right here and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that that my countertop is on a level with uh, 
with the edge of my countertop and I'm going to paint from here all the way out to the very edge of here and just call all of this part countertop. We'll see how that goes or turns out, but uh, countertop is in. Now, I'm going to go inside and take an air conditioning break and uh, depending on how I feel later on will be whether or not I continue this video, so we'll just have to see. I'll check back in with you. Well, it is the next day. I didn't end the video on a win, but I ended the day on a win. So there was a lot of reasons why I didn't come back down. But to be honest, by the time I was ready to come back down, it was almost supper time, and then I ate. Then I had to have to have my after-eat digestion. So I just said the heck with it and uh, came back down here today. I've been doing a lot of reading on the countertop paint that I got and how to apply it and what to do. So I've got to wipe this down and um, pretty much just get to painting. It doesn't require a lot of prep, it doesn't require a lot of sanding, although this is the sanded side of this board. So I'm going to get the masking things off and I'll turn on the time lapse. Well, I don't know how I feel about this countertop paint just yet. Um, when I opened up the can, it was all pink. All of the uh, dye had sunk to the bottom and it took me forever to mix it up. So I don't know if this can is ruined because it sat, it probably sat for three weeks in my building before I got around to using it. So I don't know. But uh, I tried to use a, a big painting cup to roll it on and it just became easier to just kind of pour it on there and roll it. I don't know, it, it stinks to high heaven, but I'm supposed to wait an hour before I apply the second coat. So I'll see you guys in an hour. All right, so I am back down here for round two. It's been a little over an hour couple of things that I have learned um, with putting on the first coat is uh, number one I don't like a roller brush they recommend a sponge type roller and um, and I didn't have one but I had something I thought was close I didn't like that so I'm just gonna finish out with a regular brush the next thing that I learned so I should have worn gloves. I normally do when I paint, and sometimes I forget. This time I forgot. So let's get some gloves on. Hey look, I can count to 10. Mostly the fingers on my left glove just get in my way, so I just kind of tuck and fold them under. I'm mainly just keeping myself from having heartache trying to wash my hands later. So I'm going to get the paint set up and uh, get started with my second coat. I'm not even going to worry about a time lapse. This is not going to take very long. I'll just keep rolling and I'll just speed up through the boring bits. Let's get started. I think the mixing took care of all the uh, pink problems because it was pink. I think I said that. Um, but. Uh, We'll see how the second coat goes with a brush. And don't worry, when I'm all done, I will show you guys what it all looks like. As long as it turns out okay. I am loading this up a little extra thick in the front because there's a seam where my teardrop meets the countertop or the countertop meets the uh, uh, 
teardrop and I want to kind of fill that in and I did not want to use filler because I'm lazy All right, there's a second coat down with a brush. I'm going to let this sit for an hour, then I'm going to come back down here, see what it looks like, see if I need to do any touch-ups, and then I'll show you guys what it looks like. All right? Cool. All right, guys, there's the countertop. I have to let it sit for three days, and then uh, I can get back in here and start hopefully putting things back together. There's a mower going in the background. I can't really help it, so I hope my audio turns out. I'm pleased. I'm pleased with the way it, with the way it looks. Um, the countertop paint is made to go on laminated countertop so obviously uh, it's going to go a little bit different on bare wood that's okay I just wanted a fairly smooth waterproof countertop so I can do kitchen work on it that's what I really wanted so uh, that's what I got and I think it's going to go well with the other colors that I picked out for my racks and things like that but that is done that's another big milestone done for me and uh, as soon as I get this back together then I can get the galley door off and I can get it done and then I will be done with the camper refresh series and with the camper refresh I should have been done already like I said earlier I didn't realize that my galley was in as bad a shape as it was, so I had to pretty much redo my entire galley. I do have some things I'm going to be doing on the inside of the camper, but I'm not going to include this uh, in this refresh series because it should only take an episode or two, and I don't know when I'll get to it. I'm just going to get to it before I leave. So, anyway, that's it for this episode. I really appreciate you guys watching. Um, I appreciate all your comments. I read all your comments. Uh, I, I'm doing things differently, I guess, and I don't realize because obviously I'm more funny than I was before. Um, maybe not in this video because my head still hurts. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe. Share this video, and don't forget to like it. And I will see you on the next episode. Don't forget, no legs, no problem. You guys still here? Why? The video's over. Go watch another video. Read a book. Or maybe just subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. See you on the next video.